Fletcher, he goes, what's happening? So it's game day today. We are off. We're away. We're away to my favourite away ground. We're off to Meadow Lane. It's Notts County v Barnet. Now, everybody knows that Notts County is the oldest club in league football in the world. And back in 1888, Notts County, with 11 other teams, become the founding members of the Football League. So basically, we owe them a massive thank you for bringing leagues to us and making us love this game so much. From the bottom of my heart, I want to say a massive thank you. And also, I want to say thank you for Hooters as well. Mainly for Hooters, but, you know, let's be honest. I know you didn't invent Hooters, but there's a Hooters there, and that's where I'm going. We all have them chicken wings. Anyway, that's enough of chatting. Barlocks is getting to the football news. So Notts County finished 16th last season. One place below us. Played 46, won 16. Drew 8, lost 22. Scored 54, conceded 76. Goal minus of 22 and ended on 56 points. Now Notts County currently sits second and their last five games have been three wins, one draw, one loss. Kevin Nolan has been in charge of the Magpies since January this year and has a win percentage of 50. 4.3. Been in charge of 35 games, won 19, drew 7, lost 9. And only two other managers in Notts County's history, since records have began, have a higher win percentage than himself. Steve Cottrell with 77.78 and Dave Kavan with 54.55. Now Notts County's danger men if selected. George Grant, who has 7 goals and 2 assists in 12. John Stead, who has 3 goals and 2 assists in 12. Lewis Alessandra, who has three goals in 10. Now, the last time we played Notts County was only last season, and ended in a 1 0 win to the Magpies. Notts County were down to 10 men after 11 minutes, and I don't think we had a shot on target all game. That's the Kevin Nugent effect. Hey! But the last time we played Notts County away and won in the league was actually never. The last time we can only say we actually managed to beat them was back in 2006, a 1 0 win in the Johnston Paint Trophy. So, you know what's coming, don't you? As much as I like you, Notts County, we we need a win. So we are due a win. So the team's in and we're going with a 4-2-3-1. You've got Craig Ross in goal, a back line of Ari Taylor at right back, Totonda at left back, Clough and Santos at centre half. In midfield is Jack Taylor, Fongu. On the right hand side is Bova. On the left hand side is Blackman. In that number 10 role is Campbell Rice. And up front is Akparak Pro. <laughs> now last week, Bova didn't have a great game against Coventry. So I'm hoping for high expectations for today. He's got to put a rabbit out of the hat and hopefully he has a good game. So the boys are just finished they warm up. Nelson's had a word of them. It's quite windy. Hopefully we can hold our own. First 10, 15, keep it nice and simple when we go from there. Come on, Barnett. Let's not have a repeat of what happened last season. First minute in, dangerous free kick from Knox County. Led to a throw. Went all the way to the back post. Blackman not picking up his man. Let off there. Let's wake up, Barnett. Come on. First minute in, 12 minutes in, and we are giving away far too many sloppy free kicks. Knox County have had about three or four. They've not led to anything yet, but it's only a matter of time, ain't it? I think we've only been in there half once so far. Come on, Barnett, let's up it now. 15 minutes in, it's Notts County 1, Barnett 0. Corner, straight to the back post. Ami Obi's jumped above everyone and he's knocked it in. They've been winning every header. They have not got a small man on this team, so they're looking for the long ball routine. We should have done better to clear it. 25 minutes in and there's not much happening from Barnett. It's far too slow from us. Notts County are keeping possession very well and they're winning the ball back when we've got the possession. As you can see, we're losing it and there's nothing at the moment. Go on! Oh, fuck. 31 minutes in, a nice delivery from Bova. Akpar Pro just couldn't get on the end of it. Apart from that, this has been far too slow. Looks like Notts County are settled with a 4-4-2. They're 1-0 up and they've got four midfield, four at the back. But we've got one up top. It's nice and easy to defend again. We need to change it up now. We really do. We can't wait till our time. Otherwise, we're going to be a lot worse off than we are. All right, so it's half time. It's Notts County 1, Barnet 0. What do we say about this? What haven't we already said all season? Far too slow. Fence has got it nice and easy against Akbar Apra. From There's no options. I mean, Notts County have not exactly been peppering our goal. But their breakdown play and the hold-up play has been a lot better than that. The matter of the fact is, they're winning 1-0 because they've taken their chance. We are not even creating two passing at the best of times. It's just not been good enough. It's far too slow. We've got 45 minutes now to try and get back into this game. A couple of changes do need to be made. Get Akinoda on. We need a bit more pace. I'm very disappointed in Bova. I thought that he would turn it on this week. He's not been good enough. He just needs to come off. Notts County are playing the long ball very well and they are gaining the advantage from it. Any set piece. 
piece, they are working hard and they're doing well from it. I know it's only 1-0, but our set pieces have been non-existent at the moment. We had one chance, Campbell Rice just knocked it straight to the back post, no one was there, it's gone off the pit. We need to start doing something to get into this game. Second half's about to start, there's been no changes. I hope that Rossi and Alex has gave these lot a kick up the arse and something changes now. Yes! Yes! Literally, as the second half of started, Canberra Ice had a shot, it's deflected, the keeper just tipped it over. 52 minutes in, Notts County 2, Barnett 1. Another set piece by Canty that they've been deadly from, and we still cannot deal with it. It's not good enough. We should have made changes at half time, and now we're 2 0 down. How long are we going to keep going like this? 58 minutes played, Barnett about to make a double sub, Notts County's keepers come off, and Notts County should have been 3 0 up. They've gone through. It looked like to Tonda had pulled a player back, but he stayed on his feet. He's had a shot. Craig Ross has pulled off a great save. He's come back out, and then they've skied it. He's lucky there, though, but if he went down, that was a penalty. Notts County just just had a goal disallowed. I tell you what, if that was not offside, we are very lucky because they have just been destroying us lately. Yes! Oh! 63rd minute, brilliant shot by Kenoda, cutting down his left hand side. Great save by the Knotts keeper there to keep it at 2 0. Apart from that, Knotts can't even queuing up to take shots at us at the moment. Go on! Yes! Come on, get the ball! Come on! 81 minutes, Knotts County. Two, Barnet one goal from Akinola. He's done well since he's came on. About 10 so minutes left with injury time. Is it too little, too late, or can we try and grab a draw now? 90 minutes up, they've just added on seven. A couple of more attempts from Barnet, nothing clinical though. Yes! Oh my god! That was it. That was it. In about the 96th minute, we've had a ball crossing. It's landed at Akpo Akpo. He's fluffed it and it's gone to Santos. The wrong person, a center half, he's just toe punted it right over the bar. Anyway, a bit of composure. That's in the back of the net. That's 2-2. Two, two. We're running away with aerial point, which we don't deserve. So the game finished, Notts County 2, Barnet 1. It's not Groundhog Day again. It bloody well feels like it though. I just don't see what we're learning from here. Are we learning from our mistakes that we keep saying we are learning from? We are still playing players that are clearly not good enough. It's another shit performance by us. Again, no end product. The only positive I'm going to take out of this game now, and I'm jumping ahead of myself, is Akinoda. He looked lively when he came on. Fair play to Notts County. They are a very well organized team they're well drilled people can say oh we played great for the last 15 minutes that's only because they fell asleep otherwise we would not have gotten anything out of that game if we literally came away from that game with a point all them barnet fans that was in there today should have been arrested for robbery because we deserved fuck all from that game Notts county destroyed us the whole game the amount of chances they had yes i know Notts county goalkeeper pulled off a couple of great saves but let's be honest it was fuck all else from us the shot from santos i actually think has landed in the brian clough stand i'm looking at it right now how do you not even hit the target from four years yards at the fuck are you doing it was just another terrible performance no fucking communication the passing is in just diabolical what do we practice in training it's like there's no point in doing any set pieces because they come of nothing and we cannot defend set pieces again to save our life the first goal come from a set piece the second one led from a set piece it's just embarrassing fair play to Notts County because even though people say they fell asleep for 15 minutes that's the difference between teams that can grind out a win and hold on where we would if that was us 2-1 going into that last 15 minutes you know we would have conceded all day long but Kevin Nolan I can see a lot of Sam Allardyce in there with him he does a lot of long ball but it's direct and it works well because the players get it down and they play it's just another shit performance by Barnet again there's nothing I can take out of this that's positive apart from Akinola who looks lively now he does not get a start on Tuesday night then there's something clearly wrong with the background in this team there I don't get what's going on everyone was screaming to make the change at half time because it clearly wasn't working but you come out with a the same team and the same formation and then you wait till it's too little too late again to make the change now i can understand it's difficult for you because you go in there and you tell the boys you give them a kick up the ass so you want them to go out and prove to you and again it's difficult because if 10 minutes pass and they're not in the game how long do you give them till they make an effort but if they're not in the game that's your clue change it up then don't leave it too late you've left it too late before with subs don't leave it too late again because we're just drifting further and further away now i think we're 21st in the league right now it's getting to the point now where I had a mental breakdown last year here. I'm 
getting to the point where it's getting to insanity. Doing the same thing week in, week out, but expecting different results now. Something needs to change, and it needs to change fast. I don't know what more to say. So Tuesday night, home to Mansfield. So don't forget to like if you haven't. Make sure you subscribe. It's free, like I said. There's not many things that's free in this world. The tax man can't take that off you. Leave any comments below. Follow me on Twitter. I met a couple of the county fans after the game. Really nice to meet you. So until next time, Ryan. See you later. See you later.